A few months ago, my family started talking about helping a family that had just got there from Africa, and so then we talked to the IRC and we got to meet them. The day after I met her, I took her to a football game, uh, which was kind of crazy and funny. Taught them how to play Uno and uh, Down by the Banks. I like playing ping, ping pong. Ping pong. <laughs> Put yourself in their shoes. If you were getting killed in your own country and it wasn't safe and you wanted to go somewhere else, would you want them to welcome you with open arms or would they not want you to come there and tell you to stay in your own country and get killed? My family. I want them to adjust very fast with uh, American culture. I decided to get uh, a family mentor. They, they are so happy to be together and uh, they visit each other. Uh, it's, um, it's so cool, so funny. I feel safe here because I have a friend here to help me and that's cool. We're best, We're best friends, friends forever. forever. I worked with immigrants 15 years ago and know what struggles they, they go through. I wanted to find a tangible way to help as a family mentor. You're a resource for the family. You kind of help with whatever they need to help just get them settled in the community. I left Congo since 2002 to Uganda because of war. From Susa, I've already learned to, to, to love people, even if we are not in the same country. They're really good at community. Um, I think that's something that we as Americans can learn from them. They love me, and, and I love them, and, and it feels good to come and, and see them. They add joy, and they add purpose. They've just become family. Susie, she's very important for this family. You're stuck with me, sorry. <laughs> the first thing that you want to be is a friend to, to these folks that just got here. And I know how scary it can be just to be in a new place and around new people and you don't speak the language. I'm Somali, from Somalia, but now I'm from Uganda. I live problem and still that problem is there. Mm, they're killing each other, I know peace. Sometimes they can kill your neighbor. Actually, no peace, that's why I come from there. So I was happy to get a house and good people. Secondly, after two weeks, I find the Chemi, and I was happy to find her. We run errands, you know, sledding. And I'm taxi every day message, right? But I will never sleep without taxi her message. Naima is living proof that they do work hard. They're here because they want a new life. We are friends, but like we are mom and daughter, she's my mom. Already she's my family. <laughs> we are one family now. <laughs>